Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will learn about the operational amplifier 358. Amplifier means. Operational means. What is the purpose of both? We can understand an amplifier quite simply as it amplifies the signal you have and increases its amplitude. It will be explained in full later in the video. Watch the video till the end. And you can ask me anything about it in the comment box. Why is it called operational? Mathematically, operation addition subtraction. Like Edison, there is integration or comparing two signals, which we often talk about, meaning comparing two seconds are mathematical operations, and it does them. Double supply operational amplifier. Single supply amplifier. It is very easy to understand. This is its schematic diagram. VCC is its pulse power supply input. These are the ground symbols. You can also provide negative supply here. You can also provide ground. This pin is an inverting input V1. This pin is a non-inverting V2 input. This pin is V0, meaning it is an output pin. This amplifier has NPN and PNP transistors assembled and some capacitors have also been installed, you can see in the diagram. The NPN transistor is used to control the plus supply and the PNP transistor is used to control the minus supply. Next, we understand this in detail by looking at the symbol that the amplifier is made of. Operational amplifier requires three types of supply to work. We see all these supplies in this map. This symbol seen on the map is a basic symbol, making it easy to understand. Input V1, where there is a positive sign, is the input non-inverting pin. The signal will be input to the non-inverting pin. The V2 pin is the negative inverting pin where there is a minus sign. In this diagram, we will talk about the voltage difference amplifier, and how it will amplify the voltage difference between the two. The signal will be amplified according to the amount of supply you give to the input. It will not be amplified more than this supply. We now check the operational amplifier by applying voltage to it. For example, there is a 3 mV supply on the non-inverting pin. 2 mV are on the inverting pin V2 and the VCC positive supply input can provide as much supply as you need to amplify the signal. And there are two types of negative supply, VEE, which is negative voltage, and GND, which is ground, zero voltage. Now we see the difference. How much difference is there between V1 and V2? V1 3 millivolts, V2 2 millivolts, V1 minus V2 1 millivolts. This is the difference. The differential voltage is 1 millivolt. 1 millivolt will be amplified. This is the differential amplifier. And one thing you have to notice in this is that gain. Gain is shown within a sign. Here it will be an A, which means it is gain. And we understand that the signal will be amplified according to the gain. The game has started now. You have to watch carefully. If you understand this, then understanding the amplifier will not be difficult for you. For example, we have given a gain of 1000. We will amplify based on that. You can understand this from the formula. You can also understand it by Google. This is enough to understand. This amplifier will amplify it 1000 times. So amplifying 1 millivolt 1000 times will give you 1 volt. I hope you understand. We have understood the differential amplifier through volts. Let's try to understand the signal. This will be our double supply amplifier, positive voltage and negative voltage. It is important to note that it has two voltages, negative 15 volts and positive 15 volts. It does not have GND. Now, we have given two supplies, negative volts and positive volts, so let's see how our signal will be amplified. The signal will enter at the non-inverting pin, and in the dual supply, our output signal will be amplified in such a way that it will be amplified according to your input voltage. The signal will be amplified. There will be no change in the signal. The signal will remain the same, but will be amplified. The signal will be amplified based on the supply source of the amplifier, 
and the signal will be amplified based on the supply source, but not more than that. Let's see how a single supply amplifier works. This supply is also the same as before, but it does not have negative volts, it has GND, that is, 0 volts, positive 15 volts, and negative 0 volts. Due to the lack of a negative source, you will not receive the negative signal in the signal, but rather, you will receive the positive signal amplified. You can see this in the map. This is a single source amplifier, meaning it does not have a negative supply. So the signal will be something like this. I hope you can understand it. Now, let's try to understand inverting and non-inverting in the map ahead. There is not much difference between non-inverting and inverting. It is the same for the first one. There is a slight change. The VCC supply will remain the same. The inverting pin will be grounded. So let's see what difference it makes in the signal. Zero volts will remain on the non-inverting pin V2, GND. You can supply VCC and VEE according to your signal. Your signal will be amplified as much as you need. Here in the diagram we have given the signal V1 up to 3 millivolts. You can give it as you wish. The formula will remain the same. Be sure to tell me in the comment box how you feel. Is there any change needed in this? Please give me some advice. Gain is also given up to 1000 in this map. You are also looking at the formula in the map. There will be no change in the output signal. The signal will remain the same, but it will be amplified as you see in the map. In this diagram, we grounded the inverting pin. Now, let's ground the non-inverting pin and see what difference it makes in the signal. Stay tuned. In this diagram, we have grounded the non-inverting pin. We have given a signal of 3 millivolts on the inverting pin. VCC and VE voltages are 15 volts or you can give them as you wish. We have connected them. Remember, these are 15 volts plus and 15 volts minus. You have seen the signal waveform if the signal is the same, but it has been inverted. That is, this signal has been inverted. This is your diagram of the non-inverting and inverting amplifier. The signal was amplified, but its angle was changed. And one special thing to remember about this is that it is an open loop amplifier, so its output will keep varying until you add a register to it. See that in the diagram. Here you have to add resistance, then your output will vary, and the variation will end. This register has to be adjusted according to your signal, so we can see more by connecting it. Pin 1. Output. Pin 2 inverting, pin 3 non inverting, pin 4 GND, pin number 5 non inverting, pin number 6 inverting, pin number 7 output to pin number 8 VCC. Thank you very much for watching the video. It takes me a lot of time and effort to make videos, so be sure to subscribe. Thank you.